hello guys welcome to my youtube channel ui ninjas so in this video i am going to discuss about different types of style sheet to add css so there are three types to add css in our style sheet first is inline css then internal css next is external css so first we discuss about inline css inline css contains the css property in the body section attached to the html element is known as inline css this kind of style is specified within an html tag using the style attribute example is this we can add inline css in the body section and attach in the html element so we can take one example working example so first we open the sublime text editor we can add in the body section adds p tag in between that we add style attribute and in between that we add css properties like font size and color is blue and text align we can add different properties add some content here like paragraph shows inline css in blue color so close this and save this file and see the result on the browser window all the properties of css that i added in the inline css of html element that shows the result of inline css so next is internal css it is also known as embedded css internal css is used when a single html document must be styled uniquely the internal css should written within the html file in head section the css styles defined within the style tag inside the head section of the html file so here is an example here we add style in the head section so we can take one working example of internal css so first we open the sublime text editor and add first we add head section in between that we add styles style tag we can add here some properties here we add class selector for internal css like internal is a class and we use font style is bold and color is green and font family is and we add here p tag 
in between that we add this internal glass and add some text this shows the internal css in green color save this file and see the result on the browser window this is the internal css that are shows on green color so next is external css external css contains separate css files that contain only style properties with the help of tag attributes css properties written in separate file that file save with the .css extension and should be linked to the html document using the link tag each element style can be set only once and will be applied across web pages so here is example first we make a one file of css properties save this file with the .css extension here we add different types of selectors simple selector class selector and so on and next we make separate file of html file that save with the dot html extension in between that we use link tag link tag is used to link the external style sheet with the html web page href attribute is used to specify the location of this external style sheet file here is an example in head section we add link tag in body section we add the all the selectors like class and so on then we can take one working example so open the sublime text editor first we make one file in between that we add all the css properties and its values like we add in body section background color is light blue and we can add the style in the p section font size is 40 px and color is red and font style is italic text decoration all these are the css properties so here we add one class selector like h here we add color is yellow here we add one simple selector class selector so save this file with the dot css extension and open the html file and add html tags like p this shows the external css in yellow color close this p tag first we link the css file here we can add link tag in the head section so first we add link relation 
equals to style sheet and we can add also type text slash css and here we add href attribute in between that we add the location of the css file and close this and we add here h1 tag in between that we use h class h class in an external dot css file so class selector an external css file so close save this file and see the result of external css on the browser window we can add in external file background body background color is light blue and we add selector h in between that we add yellow color so that shows up here so thank you if you like this video so please like share and comment in next video we will discuss about css properties thank you